Yes. Me too. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Our cruise line industry is going sinking, like literally, literally <laughs> sinking. Um, major trouble here. You know, we've got Carnival Cruises, the legend, and the dream. Both are in trouble. But the question is, are we just looking at it with a more critical eye now, or has this always been kind of the troubles that they've had? I don't know, but you know, Carnival also owned the Concordia, which um, ended up on its side. Is that right? Yeah, I didn't know yeah, there was a connection right. there. And it's just this is a this is a problem plagued uh, mm -hmm. carrier. I mean, if I were to take a cruise, it wouldn't be Carnival. I don't think you could <laughs> pay me money so. to no, take a cruise not even right a free now. Cruise no. at this point. But no. you know what's interesting? I think probably airplanes have as many problems. We just like there's so many more airplanes in the sky every day mm -hmm. than there are cruise ships right. at sea that we probably don't acknowledge, how do I word this? Well, like, they just, I bet yeah. there's exact, the exact same problems with air, airplanes and there are cruise ships. Right. They're just, on an for airplane, some reason right now, this is getting more attention. You know, right. it's interesting. You're on an airplane for, you know, 40 minutes to, you know, an nine hour, hours if you're true. taking an international trip. I mean, you're not like. You're, they are stuck on these ships. And I don't understand right. how they don't allow them to go off the ship. Right. It's almost like a prison. Like, it said See, that they oh, literally <laughs> did not let people exit the ship, well, even though they were at port. Well, right. it's, but you know what, just to answer your question about airplanes, they said that you have a greater chance of getting in a car accident right. and dying than you have at dying on a plane, on a, on a of plane. course, or a cruise mm -hmm. ship. Right. right. But it's interesting that we're like, uh-uh. But you think about a cruise ship, it's a floating hotel. Yes. Right. There are so many things that, that can go, go wrong, wrong, you know, opposed to an airplane, I which is, that they're doesn't also have all that. Very difficult to regulate, right? Mm -hmm. Because nobody really knows and they're not who, they're not licensed or out of the right. United States. All of them are licensed in foreign countries or, mm -hmm. you know, the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And um, what I don't like about it is that you sign all your rights away mm -hmm. when you decide have to you pay. Have you been on a cruise before? I have. I have one I have. time. Yes. Have you been on one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I loved it. The only thing, I'll, I won't go on one probably ever again just because right. of all this, but that midnight buffet that they do, <laughs> like, with all that food, anyone that's been on a cruise will go, oh, yes. I will suck it up for that food. <laughs> like, just keep feeding me, and you can trap me on that cruise ship. I really I love it. Let me tell you, you I know. gained 10 pounds when I went on mine. I took buffet pants. Pants. Like anything with like an elastic <laughs> waistband. It's literally like Thanksgiving Day on a ship. Girl, if I go on a cruise, I'm going with you. Seriously. Right. I just, you do. You they got, feed you an, all day long. There's another story that we have, have to talk about this morning. You can keep me on there for three weeks. Look.